Hi everyone. So let us discuss the very important theorem of series of functions that is Weierstrass same test. So many things are given and uh, what we have to prove finally we have to prove that summation f n converges uniformly. What will I do? I will write the given information first. Okay, so given that, see the first important thing that is uh, may mod f n of x is less than or equal to m n for all n belongs to set of natural number and for all x belongs to s. This is the main thing I will write. We will call it as equation number 1. And the second important thing is summation m n is convergent. Okay, so that is a very important thing. See what we have to prove? We have to prove that series summation f n converges uniformly. So that thing we have to prove. Okay, so this thing we have to prove. See when we discuss any result of series of function, we consider a sequence of partial sum. So what will I do? Uh, we have a series, a series of function fn. So I will first consider a sequence of partial sum sn. Okay, so sn is a sequence of partial sum of this series. That is nothing but sn is equal to, yeah f1 plus f2 plus and so on fn similarly we have a second series summation mn so i will consider let tn be the sequence of partial sum of summation mn that is tn is equal to m1 m2 and so on mn so now we will take uh, epsilon greater than 0 be given let us use the given information see what we have we have a two information out of that i will use the second information summation mn is convergent so we have summation mn is convergent implies its sequence of partial sum is also convergent that is sn is uh, tn is convergent but we know that every convergence sequence is Cauchy sequence that's why we can say tn is Cauchy sequence you know the definition of Cauchy sequence what is definition of Cauchy sequence we can write for above epsilon greater than 0 there exists and not belongs to set of natural number such that mod tm minus tn less than epsilon for all m greater than n greater than or equal to n0 okay but what is tm you can uh, use this definition of tn tm is equal to m1 m2 plus and so on mn mm minus c tn tn is nothing but m1 m2 plus and so on mn this is less than epsilon i can write this is less than epsilon see what will happen so first n terms will get cancelled m1 will get cancelled with this m1 m2 will get cancelled with m2 and mn will get cancelled with mn so we will have actually each m m i is positive so there is no need of mod so simply we can write there is no need of mod we can write m n plus 1 up to m m is less than epsilon i will carry the condition also for all m greater than n greater than or equal to n naught we will call it as equation number 2 see but what we have to prove we have to prove this uh, mn see what we have to prove we have to prove this series summation fn is convergent that means we have to prove sequence sn is a Cauchy sequence so we will focus on to prove that sn is a Cauchy sequence okay so here i will start with mod sm minus sn we will start to find its value sm means what sm means f1 plus f2 it's a sequence of partial sum now we can see here what is our sn sn is nothing but f1 plus f2 plus and so on fn similarly we can write sm is equal to this is sm of x minus i will write minus minus now we will write this sn of x sn of x is equal to f1 plus f1 plus f2 plus and so on fn so see as first n terms will get cancelled with each other f1 will get cancelled minus sign is there now so f1 will get cancelled with f1 f2 will get cancelled with f2 and so on fn will get cancelled with fn so only fn plus 1 and so on fm will be there so you know that if i take a separate separate mod value will get increased so that's why it is less than or equal to mod fn plus 1 of x plus 
mod f n plus 2 of x plus and so on mod f m of x. But as in equation number 1, we have already this is a given f n of x less than or equal to m n. So therefore, therefore tell me what can we write? This is less than or equal to f n plus 1 of x less than or equal to m n plus 1 plus f n plus 2 of x less than or equal to m n plus 2 plus and so on f m of x less than or equal to m m we need to mention from equation number 1 but see in equation number 2 we have already mentioned these terms is less than epsilon we need to mention the region from 2 therefore finally we get mod sm of x minus sn of x less than epsilon for all m greater than n greater than or equal to n naught therefore sn of x is a uniformly Cauchy as it is uniformly Cauchy then we can apply Cauchy criterion for uniform convergence of a series we get series summation fn of x is uniformly converges on s Okay, thank you.